Hi. Um, so you guys may know me as the guy that plays guitar, sings. I've been on this stage for quite a while now, and um, I'm not here to perform. As you can see, I don't have an instrument. I'm actually going to talk about music behind the scenes. So um, I've had many great experiences. Um, I started with the School of Rock, and at the School of Rock program, basically a bunch of kids get together, and um, they learn how to play a certain instrument that they're interested in, and in that case, guitar was my go-to instrument, and um, we would get together, practice songs, and then we would play those songs at live venues, and um, that taught me a lot about leadership and how to collaborate with a bunch of people. So um, I also did private lessons at the School of Rock, and my private lesson teacher was Chris Watson. Um, he's a jazz blues guitar player, also a singer-songwriter. He played with people like B.B. King, Cool in the Gang, Buddy Guy, Leonard Skinner, Train, Sean Martin, and many other great people. So um, he's definitely knowledgeable in the music industry and as, as, with, as a musician with instruments. Yeah, something like that. And then... Um, he taught me basically all the aspects of how to play guitar, the theory behind music, and uh, even though I slacked a lot in lessons, but uh, I did learn a lot from him, and he's the reason where I am with my knowledge and uh, creativity with playing guitar and writing music. Another awesome musician that I had the honor to work with is Luke Wade. He is a singer-songwriter and he was on The Voice season seven in 2014. And um, just lately, he's mentored me and he's taught me how to perform, like stage presence, because that's a big key. You know, you gotta learn how to interact with your audience, eye contact. And uh, he taught me a lot about that and how to write songs, you know, how some things might not work when you're writing lyrically or this guitar part sounds horrible, change it. And um, he's taught me things like that. And uh, he, I've also had the opportunity, since um, he's really well known in the music industry now, he was uh, with Pharrell Williams, and um, he's opened a lot of doors. Um, I've had the honor to put one of my songs into this new TV show on NBC coming up called Songland. And basically, um, it's produced by Adam Levine, and he's bringing in famous artists to listen to my song to make the song grow into the industry and see if it becomes successful. And I've also had the opportunity to talk about recording contracts. And that opened my eyes to music as a business and not just as a hobby, not just as something that I want to do for fun. And um, it opened my eyes to how if I sign for a record deal, for instance, they're going to own the rights to my music and I have to pay them an interest rate in the long run, so that's depending on music sales, that's depending on ticket sales and merchandise sales. And if that doesn't work out, you know, if I don't have people that like my music, then I just go down the drain. And that's what happens to a lot of musicians that start out, they need to learn how to make right decisions. So that opened my eyes to the music industry. And then, last but not least, you guys probably know Kirk Franklin. He's the father of Keziah Franklin. And I was honored to follow Kirk on tour a couple years ago. And um, that opened my eyes to really what it is to be a famous person, a famous musician. And um, yes, there are the huge comfy tour buses. There's the fame. There's meeting other famous people. There's the huge venues and that. And um, yes, all of that is great, but it opened my eyes to the stress of being a musician because yes, it is for fun. Yes, it is because you, you're just, you love music. You're doing it because you love music, but it's also a job. And uh, he opened my eyes to that, that I need to look into about how the long night, there's long nights, you know, from traveling. Um, there's also probably hands cramping from signing thousands of autographs. There's, um, what else? 
Let me see. Non-stop talking with hundreds of people, you know. So those kind of things are just stressful, stressful things, being worn out. And, um, but he also taught me that you need to put others before yourself. And he taught me that you can still be down to earth, you can still live your life and do those fun things. And uh, I don't just see him as a famous musician, I see him as, as a father figure. He still pays his bills, he still hangs out with his family, you know. He does everything for his family and uh, for everybody around him. And that really opened my eyes to just being yourself and not getting into the wrong routes of just bad things in the music industry. So, um, as you can see, music is my passion and I hope to pursue it in college and as a career in the future. And um, I just want to thank my family for pushing me and telling me that I can be what I want and that just play music, basically. And that's what I'm going to do is play music. Thank you.